What a what a, here we go again, back with some more mystery case files. Return to Ravenhurst. Now, I realized that I had three streams of this game, me finishing the game. What I didn't, what, what I didn't realize is that I had picked up on a game that I started playing years ago. I've been playing so many uh, MCF games that I didn't even realize I didn't start over, so I went to go start editing um, Return to Ravenhurst and realized I only had three episodes, and uh, that's when I realized that if you see over here, it says Agent Panda, not Panda Bomb. Um, little backstory for those of you who don't know. Uh, Panda is my pet name my wife gave me. So, uh, yeah. That's where Panda Bomb... Well, that's not exactly where Panda Bomb came from. But... Yeah. Continue watching Panda Bomb if you want to find out exactly where Panda Bomb came from. Maybe. No promises. Any who's it. Um... Alright, so we're gonna... I'm gonna play Return to Ravenhurst again. And, uh... Just to pick up those missing... Well, all that missing stuff that I did. So, we're gonna start a new Agent Panda Bomb. La Bomba de la Banda. Pating! And now, we shall begin. A return to Ravenhurst. Actually, give me one sec. I'm gonna turn the sound on this down. It may, uh... May throw some stuff off because weirdest thing whenever I come out of full screen of one of these old games because uh, it stretches on my monitor because I have an HD monitor and I, this is obviously not even the same aspect ratio but it stretches uh, you guys see it fine but it's stretched on mine and whenever I come out of it it turns off my left monitor which is where uh, which is where my previews are so and so whenever I come over here to <laughs> Like I want to turn it down and it turned off my monitor and put the game in Windows windowed mode. Okay, I don't think it changed it for y'all. Anyway. Turn that back because I had turned it back. I had turned it up. So I'm gonna turn it back down a little bit. Hope that's good. And come back into full screen mode. I gotta turn my monitor off and back on. Alright. Let's hop to it. Jump right in. I am not reading all this. I lied. I am. I once again revisit Ravenhurst Manor by orders of Her Majesty the Queen to further investigate the disrupt disturbing place. During my last visit, I pieced together what I thought was the end of a of the century-old Ravenhurst mystery. Unlocking those crazy doors is what started all this or is what started all this the manor deceased okay apparently uh, madam fate died anywho um i freed the soul of not only the manor's namesake emma ravenhurst but also the spirit of her murderer charles delamar after departing Ravenhurst, Charles's vengeful spirit followed me to, or followed me and extracted a flurry of suffering upon an innocent. What's that word? D I. What is that word? Is that a Z? I think that's a Z. The Nizenins of Fate's Carnival. Okay, whatever that word is. Forgive my ignorance. All right. I narrowly escaped and, fi and now find myself here once more seeking answers to what happened to Emma's demise. After Emma's demise. I must work quickly and keep my wits about me as I fear there is little time before his ghost discovers that I have returned to Ravenhurst. Alright, so here we are up in Ravenhurst. Um, let me back this up, make sure... Uh, it didn't let me set a difficulty or anything. Um, can I go back to the menu? Are there options? The same options. Okay. Oh, alright, whatever. I was gonna make it hard, but... 
All right, so apparently there's just only uh, there's only one speed, and that's fast. All right, so uh, y'all forgive me. I haven't I ain't set my desk up. I ain't got room. I ain't got my, I ain't got my pen and paper out. I usually have pen and paper out for this. Yes, yes I do. All right, so and I did so because. Of stuff like this. I'm not going to remember 816, 1836, 38, heart, 78. So, you know, have some scrap sheet of paper, you know, like you did in algebra class. 816, 18, 36, 38, heart, and 78. And the winning lottery numbers are, not that, June 1895, Ravenhurst Manor, the residence de dedicated Excuse this me. Place is evil. Okay, this place is evil. By name and beauty, you can read it. It's there. Poor sick man looks like someone scratched something into. Yeah. All right. And apparently, I wrote something. A rusty plaque outside the manor gates denotes a benign outset to his to this twisted love story. Once a beautiful place, this estate was created by Charles to show his affection toward Emma. Was his unrequited love the source of his madness? Who knows? The shadow knows. I've made note of the strange series of numbers scratched into the metal. My knowledge of Latin limits my understanding of the bottom text, but I believe it is something about life after death. Mundus vault discipi ergo discipitatur. I'm not a good reader in English, let alone Latin. All right, so it's locked. Who'd have figured? Um, are there any morphing objects? Oh, uh, a once beautiful statue lies in on the cold, wet path. Are there any morphing objects? Is that a morphing object? I don't think there's morphing objects in this game. I do not recall. And this this button works. Maybe if I had a wrench, I can't turn it. Maybe if I had a wrench, I bet you it's gonna say. I can't turn it. Can't turn it. All right. What's that say? Ace? Agent? Looks like Agent. Agent XX. Heart. All right. Anyway, let's go looking over here. Because maybe there's a wrench over here. All that crap wasn't back there just a second ago. Anyway, we're looking for a grinder, roller skits, a wrench, bell. Okay. That starts with a W. Do you still roll the R? Anyway, <laughs> a bell, bow tie, croissant, robin, there he is. a slingshot club, sickle camera, and a jack in the boots. There's the grinder. There's some skates. There's a camera. There's a jack in a box. Well, that's uh, that's a teapot. There's a crescent or a croissant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else am I looking for? A sickle. Here's a sickle. Slingshot and a club. I feel like I saw a golf club. I might have might have just like looked right over it. Uh, yeah, I might have been thinking about something else. A uh, bow tie. A wrench. Uh, the one thing I need, I can't find. Is that a wrench? No. Oh. Can't really see that well at the top. If you've watched me before, you know that there's a wrench. You'll know that the top of my screen up here is kind of dark because of how it's my screen, the bottom of it is like at chin level. 
because of the way my desk is built. It's built with um, three sets of racks under it because uh, this was originally my audio engineering desk, custom built myself, where I, I did all my productions and such. And so yeah, and I haven't brought it, I haven't come to uh, uh, tear it down and rebuild it. Though I will eventually rebuild this desk, or build another one actually. I don't know what I'll do with this one. Excuse me. Probably dismantle it and use it to either build the next one or maybe build something, another work surface for my workshop. Not quite sure. Anyway, looking for a slingshot, a club, and a bell. I saw a bell. I looked at it. Yeah. Got a slingshot and a club. That noise is very annoying. Hmm. There's a slingshot. Wow, uh, about that club. Is that a golf club or a shape or like a billy club? Which is like a little baseball bat. I am uncertain. Sorry if you saw a blip and a blur. Need to move this over some. My apologies. All right. Uh, another blurb, and we should be good. All right, there. That's much better. And um, we're looking for a club. Hmm. Oh, that's a fear de lis. Oh, there's a club. See, shadow, just like the. The fear delays, and we have a wrench, which uh, I suspect we need for this. Good thing it was an adjustable wrench sitting over there in the uh, in the bushes. I'd have never took this off. To um, I don't even know why I'm taking this off, but we're gonna do it. Two, two by two. All right. Four by one. This is why math is important, kids. One by three. Hey now. You're an all-star. And two by one. And apparent. Oh no, over to. Wait, no. Did I do that backwards? I might have done this backwards. Oh, <laughs> that's why math is important, kids. <laughs> uh, over four. Down one. Right, over two, that's two by two, one by three, and two by one. Apparently I'm doing this incorrectly. So let's start again. There is a two and a two here. So I shall go down two and over two, right? Then there's a Ford. I could have sworn you go on the x-axis first. You go x and then y. Yes, you go x and then y. So if we go over four, one, two, three, four, then down one. Over one and down three. Follow the secret passage. I'm working on it. And then over two, down one. Uh, am I missing something? I am, um, if I only had a key. I'm working on it. Um. I'm not quite sure. Let's see. That is, that does say 2 comma 2, right? 1, 2. I mean, that's 5. So, yeah. 
What am I missing, y'all? Over four, down one, over one, down three, and over two, down one. Did I not do that one of the times? I guess not. Okay, well, we are now able to enter Ravenhurst. Thank you for returning to this ominous place. Ominous. While my soul is now free, there are others who require your assistance. You must act quickly before he returns. Find the secret passageway within the manor and free those who remain bound to him. Be warned, you are in grave danger. Come with me. Uh, you could have led with I'm in grave danger, and how dare you tell me to follow you after saying you're in grave danger. Alright, I successfully made first contact with the supernatural. After unlocking the manor gates, I was visited by a ghostly by the ghostly spirit of Emma Ravenhurst. She thanked me for freeing her, but warned me of great danger and mentioned something about releasing the spirits of additional souls bound within the house. She related Oh, I'm sorry. She related few details, but did give mention of a secret passage somewhere inside. There must be much more to Ravenhurst Manor than my initial investigation revealed. <coughs> if y'all would please give me a moment, I'll be right back with you. Sorry.
My apologies about that. My uh, sister-in-law came to pick up my niece and my dog just gets real stupid whenever someone walks up to the door. Anywho, we have gained entry into Ravenhurst Banner. We were greeted by Emma. Ravenhurst? Hey. There's a... There's a way it won't turn. The rope appears to be stuck. Alright. You know, I don't think we can get it unstuck with a wrench, can we? I didn't think so. Uh, Charles is quite the collector of unusual art. I'd say so. Charles is strange individual. All right, there's a raven. I can go to the left. Ooh. What do we have here? The house appears dilapidated and completely vacant. The rotting floorboards on the porch must be walked upon with great caution for fear of falling through and breaking my neck. Doors and windows are boarded up and the negligent, or I'm sorry, neglected roof offers little protection from the storm. I caught a glimpse of something shiny beneath one of the loose floorboards. I must remember to keep my eye peeled for clues that might be lying about. Alright. Um, yeah, look at there. I don't, I don't suppose... Hey, I could make this work. I could use a wrench to get those nails out. But apparently, uh... Ooh, ouch, too thorny. Maybe if I had something to clip the stem. Alright. So, uh, yeah, how was that? That's in there, yeah, so we're gonna have a look through this little treasure chest here. We're looking for a gnome, which is right there. A fan. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Didn't see a fan. Oh, fast like. Maybe you did. Will you be my neighbor? Sorry. Alright, so a fan, a brush. Any brushes laying about? Don't see any brushes. All right, a key, a phone, saw a phone. Where did I see a phone? You gotta forgive my eyes. Like at the end of the day, after work, I am so. I work under. I work in a warehouse, so. And outside, so I go in and out. Different. Different degrees of light, and have to read small numbers and sometimes big numbers. And my eyes are pretty exhausted by the time I get home and. For some reason. Okay, you don't have to holler. Alright. Jeez. Anyway, what was I saying? Um I don't know why, but I like to play hidden object games when I get home from work and my eyes are tired. Can't see you half the time. But hey, do what we love. And I love doing this. A life preserver. There's a life preserver. A coin. The gingerbread man. That was that right there. A dirigible. Is that the thing that looks like a... A dirigible. Is that the, uh... That's the thing that looks like a little blimp, but is on wheels? Isn't that what that is? I think. A brick and a flute. Alright. Uh, it's a clarinet. It's a flute. Is that a key? Looks like a key. I guess it's not a key. That's a syringe. A dirigible. It's gonna bother me. I think that was the brick. Yep. The flute, I am willing to bet, is on one of these poles. Or, uh, Shoot, what do you call these? I have forgotten what these are called. Now, Peter will be wrong anyway. I don't see the flute on there. So, back in the distance. That looks like a jug. I don't know if you can see my face right now. And I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Money don't grow on trees. In fact, it takes a lot of my time to get money. So, I have a little crappy, uh, crappy webcam, and, uh, 
I don't want to be seen like that. So I, I have, I, I'm, I, my first trade was videography and photography. So I have cameras galore, I just don't have a uh, capture card. Hey, it's a Green Lantern. Um, that's good enough to stream. Um, all right, okay, there's a coin. Gotta turn on my, my little layer scan here. Scan these things in layers. It's so wrapped up in layers, onion boy. Um, it looks like a gas, gas mask, a fish. There's a ranch, pot ranch. Is that a key? That is a key. Okay. Thought it was a dart. To be honest with you, a cleaver. I looked at that cleaver several times. Um, the sworn I like saw a phone a bunch of times too. Like looked right at it. Might have been making that up. In fact, I'm quite sure I'm making that up. It's funny how the brain works sometimes. Those binoculars. Looks like one of those uh, crutch slash. Uh... Ooh, excuse me. Crutch slash cane walking apparatus. Um, that was the brush. In all honesty, I was clicking thinking it was a flute. Now I believe that's a slingshot. That's a kniffy. The ridgeable thing's gonna have me all messed up. Looks like an Oscar. Um, there's a mess with egg. That. That's a dirigible. Right? Yeah. Looks like a blunt. Is dirigible another word for blunt? I mean, I don't know. I should look that up so I don't sound so stupid. I'm looking for dirigible. Yeah, I, for all I know, I'm mispronouncing it anyway. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, fan, now. I'm looking for like a mechanical fan. There's the phone. Mechanical fan or an electrical fan? By mechanical, I mean like manual. Hand fan. Hand fan, hand fan. I'm surprised I haven't found a flute. Like, very surprised. There's the fan. It is a mechanical fan. I just need that flute. Oh, that's the entrance that we just came in. Look so far away. Um. Looking for a flute. There's all different kinds of flutes, too. So. Yeah, there you go. All kinds of flutes. Hit him with your flute, Greg. Uh, it's a clarinet. It's a flute. Sorry. Uh, Greg Warren. Comedian from back in the day. Known as Flute Man Greg. Or not known as, but had a whole little shtick with that. Uh, just thought it was funny. But, uh, is that a snorkel? It's a snorkel. Yeah, it's time for some new glasses, y'all. I can't see for poopy. Can't see for poopy. But, uh, I do believe dinner is about ready, so once I find this flute, I do believe I'm gonna have to call it. Yep, I just got called. Yes, I'm. Okay. Yeah, so. I think she's plating our food right now. So, uh,. Come on, where's that flute? Oh, come on, y'all. Y'all help me find this flute so I can go eat. I'm rather hungry.
Hungry flutes. Play me the song of my people. <laughs> yeah, that's the song of my people. I am doing that on stream. <laughs> my wife was like, I really hope you're not doing that on stream. Yes, I did. Uh, I can't find. I want to find this food before I go, y'all. But um, it's starting to look like it ain't gonna happen. Cause uh, I dare not be late for supper. <laughs> yeah, I just stood up, so if I sound weird, sorry. I'll get this fixed eventually. Get a better monitor too. This one's good and all, but after what I'm doing with this one. Hurry before he returns. Yo, don't rush me. Yeah, that's a pineapple. That's it's a bucket. Okay. All right, y'all. I guess we're going to have to not find this flute. We're going to have to find it next time. Uh, appreciate y'all dropping in. And until next time, deuces, gooses.